Hi guys, it's Jane, you're watching My Gold Mine, welcome. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a perfume comparison haul. And I'm gonna be comparing Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture with a potential dupe from Zara. Yes, this perfume is called Pink Flambe Summer. If you wanna see if there is a potential dupe of a Juicy Couture perfume in Zara, then stay tuned. But right guys, without further ado, let's get into this video. Just before I get started, I have to say, I am loving this nude lipstick that I've got going on right now. It is so cute. I got it from Fenty Beauty, which I did a review on in my previous video. If you guys want to check that out, I will link it in the video somewhere or down below. It's for all you guys that are looking for that perfect nude, okay? I'm just saying. Okay guys, so I'm going to start off with Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. Now, if you love the colour pink, then you just automatically have loved this brand. I'm just saying, this is such a cute set. It's actually like a um, duty-free set, so it's like something you can probably only get like in airports and stuff. But um, I've got the, the Viva La Juicy Eau de Parfum in here, the 30 mils. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that, that you can get that set if you're going on your holidays in the near or far future. Depending on what's actually going on in the world. But anyways. <laughs> It's so cute. Just look at that. Look at the bow. Look at the Juicy Couture logo on it. Looking absolutely fabulous and cute. Look at the lid as well. Just winning. I love the Juicy Couture. And I think the bigger the bottles go, is even more detail they put into it as well. So there you go. That's the packaging for Juicy Couture, okay? Fabulous. Okay guys, now on to Pink Firm Bait Summer, okay? This is the box here. Super fabulous. You know, the graduation of the color, looking like a whole sort of sunset. And then this is the perfume bottle as well. Really gorgeous, okay? I mean, considering it's relatively inexpensive sort of perfume, which I'll get into the prices in a second, this is not a bad, perfume bottle okay out of the perfume bottles it will always be juicy couture okay i'm just such a girly girl like what can i say so far it doesn't look anything like this one so that's always a winner because when i do perfume dupe videos i don't think the perfume dupe should look exactly identical to the potential perfume that it may or may not allegedly be trying to dupe so yeah but there you go very nice, both of them to be honest. Okay guys, here's the price of Juicy Couture. And this is a 30 mils, so the 30 mils will definitely be cheaper than what I'm gonna say, but I think the 50 mils is probably the best option to go for in terms of money, because I think that that's the most worth it. Um, if you're gonna get 30 mils, 50 mils, or 100 mils, I'll go for the 50 personally, but this is what was in the set. But this at 50 mils ranges between about 40 to 50 pounds at full price. But guys, I have to tell you about this deal, okay? Allbeauty.com, yeah, is selling this currently for 25 pounds, 85 pence. Not even 30 mils, 50 mils. And they usually sell that at 50 pounds, okay? So guys, if you guys are interested in this perfume, you guys should totally get it while it is almost half off. I'm just saying. I don't know why I'm moving like this, but, you know, bargains. Bargains just get you in a good mood, you know? <laughs> At full price, £50 is quite steep, but it is Juicy Couture. So, there you go. But you got the deal, okay? I'm just saying, I just threw that out there for you. Just, just gave you a little nugget there, okay? <laughs> now, of course, the Pink Flambe Summer is going to be less expensive. This is usually £10.99. But guys, I don't know what's going on right now. Maybe it's like a second Christmas or something, but like they're selling this currently for £4.99 on Zara.com. So that's while I'm filming this video. So the price may go up, I don't know. So you might want to check that out as well. But basically this is clearly a lot less expensive. So in terms of price, I think obviously, you know, I'd say actually both of these are actually quite inexpensive at the moment. So if you guys wanted to get this at the 50 mils, 
at a fraction of the price, I would hop on that as soon as you can. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay guys, now what you guys have all been waiting for, okay? We've done the packaging, we've done the price. Now it's time to do the PU. <laughs> the smell okay the fragrance okay let's get started with juicy couture viva la juicy i've actually had this perfume before like i used to wear it a lot so i know that it definitely is a nice perfume that i definitely do recommend mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> fun flirty but classy and you know elegant at the same time very regal I just love when brands make perfumes that smell like their brand aesthetic. It's like that mismatch of sassiness and fun and girliness with elegance and couture, royal sort of vibes there. That's what this perfume smells like. I'm smelling like this really nice spicy smell, but I'm also smelling like fruit. I need to start wearing that again. <laughs> Mm, no, that's nice. So it's like fruity but spicy at the same time. It's a zingy fruit. I can't quite work out what that is, but it's so nice. Mm. Is there like vanilla and maybe amber? I don't know. In terms of the fruit, maybe oranges or maybe something citrus maybe. It's like something fizzy in it as well. Mm. And then soft, so there's definitely like flowers. This is a winner. Mm. I know so many people are going to love this. Like, real talk. Like, wow. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Juicy Couture, it is Viva La Juice, okay? <laughs> so the fragrance notes for Viva La Juicy are the top notes, wild berries and mandarin orange, the heart notes, honeysuckle, jasmine and gardenia, and the base notes, caramel, amber, vanilla, praline and sandalwood. Guys, woo-wee! This is one flirty, sassy, gorgeous number here, okay? Yes, there is that sort of soft, chocolatey smell as it goes down, so you can definitely smell that caramel and that praline, okay? This is gorgeous. Yeah, I love me some of this, okay? Yes. I feel like it could be a really versatile fragrance. I feel like this could be worn in the summertime for all those like fun, sassy summer fiestas and also during the daytime as well and i feel like it can be rolled into autumn winter like it's just one of those fragrances that can do both okay get you a fragrance that can do both okay guys now on to pink flambe summer um i've actually had this perfume before and from what i can remember you may potentially have a dupe but don't hold me to it okay i'm about to find out with you guys. So let's spritz this perfume and see if we've got a dupe on our hands. Mm. Okay guys, so this smells very, very fruity, okay? So a lot more fruity than the last one, but it does smell similar though. This one is definitely more fruity though. Very zingy, very zesty, very citrusy, okay? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It smells good. This smells like candy. It smells so much like a like fruity, fabulous cocktail, okay? Like this is something that you would want in your life. You potentially want to drink, but you can't because it's a perfume. Mm. Now this is really nice and light. So I'm smelling a lot more citrus vibes, a lot more um, zesty, vibrant, fresh vibes. This does smell similar. This is just a lot more fruity and zesty but this does smell amazing in its own right. I do recommend the smell, I think this smells gorgeous. Is there vanilla in that? Mm. It's starting to get softer now. Let's get into these notes. Okay guys, so the notes for Pink Flambe Summer include mandarin orange, melon, and praline. Basically, they do share similar notes, so they do share the praline, and also mandarin orange as well. There's a little something something there. So, I think with that, there definitely had to have been a little inspiration, Zara. I'm just saying, okay? Allegedly, of course. Let's just smell them side by side and decide once and for all. Okay, what it appears to be, right, is I definitely do think there is some inspiration, but Viva La Juicy is layered so much more. 
and Viva La Juicy is so much more like chocolatey, got those woody notes to it more so than Zara. Zara's one is just very fruity, like a fruit cocktail, okay? There is clearly a lot less notes, but as they both wear down, they do smell more similar. So that's one thing to note. But will I say it's an exact dupe? No. But do I personally think there was some inspiration that Zara had from Viva La Juicy? Yes. Guys, to conclude, right? Okay, both perfumes I honestly really like. I think Pink Flamby Summer is so fabulous and beautiful. For like a relatively affordable brand, Sava have delivered humongously with this perfume. I think this is stunning. I think it's a winner. And I think if you love fruits in your life, you like your five a day, you've got it with this perfume. <laughs> but um, Juicy Couture as well. I think this is an iconic perfume from the packaging to just the brand ethos just the brand aesthetic and finally the smell you will love this which one would i pick it really just depends i mean i'm leaning more to this one because i love me a good package in my life but i'd say that if you're trying to save money this isn't too bad too in conclusion i like them both i don't know what to say they're both winners okay Guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and you found some interesting fragrances to add to your life, okay? Wish you guys so much love and light in your lives. Peace, love, and light to you all.